Welcome back Degenerates. I've got an interesting watch here and I'm going to try and contain my excitement because it's really a terrible value watch but god damn it I freaking love it. This is the reissued OG 8 lap Timex Iron Man with an all steel case and bracelet. It was released a few weeks ago on July 28th, 2024 in Japan only but it was easy enough getting one shipped over here to the US. Quick disclaimer, the price is crazy. Retailing at 70,000 yen, or around $450, they took a page out of Casio's book and multiplied the price because apparently they think that we think steel is a precious metal. For the record, I don't agree with this pricing at all. I have no intention to try and convince anyone this is worth it. I bought it because I'm a degenerate watch addict, and it piqued my interest the same way free crack attracts people in Washington. You also need to remember that my watch purchases aren't ever logical. But if we can look past the ridiculous price tag and enjoy for the sake of pure entertainment, then I think this watch is pretty fucking cool. Even with the terrible pricing, at least the watch itself is very well made and pleasantly solid in a way that only a metal watch can be. Steel isn't a premium material, but it gives a premium feeling and that's immediately apparent here. The retro undertones are reminiscent of an 80s DeLorean parked outside of a video game arcade. And with this watch on the wrist, I can almost hear Steve Perry singing faintly in the background behind the sounds of someone frantically playing Joust. Kind of like Tussauds Digital PRX, there's a shiny and blingy element to it that is clearly meant for form over function. But just like the PRX, the function remains. It is an Iron Man, so inside the over-the-top execution, you're left with a watch that still has 100 meters water resistance, a stopwatch, a countdown timer, an alarm with hourly chime, and of course the legendary Indiglo backlight. Here's a preview of the alarm. It goes out for 20 seconds, beeping slowly for the first 10, and then rapidly for the second. These features are standard today, but let's appreciate how absolutely legendary this must have been in 1986. And even almost 40 years later, they're still robust and exactly what anyone would need in a layout that makes sense. The layout was designed by John T. Houlihan, who was a car designer for General Motors, and Alberto Salazar, who was a four-time major marathon champion and coach for Nike. I bring that up for no other reason than I think it's cool. It's nice to know that your watch was designed by professionals for use by professionals. Is this a professional watch? I think so. Sure it's kind of a gimmick, but metal is still metal and the Iron Man is still an Iron Man. The features I mentioned before are still infinitely useful for whatever you could possibly need from a watch. The mineral crystal on the display is a bit of a bummer. If they wanted to make the Iron Man fancy, then a sapphire crystal would have been perfect. The style of bracelet is also kind of an odd choice. At a glance, it's okay, and it does have that 80s era charm, so I can kinda sort of understand what they were going for. If the goal was to be intentionally tacky for the sake of an ironic retro themed joke, then I can get down with it. In reality, the feng shui of it all is kinda off for me. The case is sci-fi and the bracelet is decorative jewelry, and the resulting effect are two themes that don't really mix well. Fortunately, it's easy enough to put whatever I want on there, so I can have a lot of fun trying out different straps and bracelets that work better. Overall, I find this watch to be an exceptionally fun watch. Acknowledging that it's a terrible value, I choose not to care, because I'd rather overpay for steel than underpay for plastic. I know that not everyone is going to think like this, but if you made it this far, then you're probably as much of a degenerate as I am. Either way, I have no regrets here. Any day that I can grow my metal digital watch collection is a good day. But that's all for now. Stay classy. I sure as hell won't.